Hi, this is Mike with Apple Irrigation. I'm the Valley Dealer in Hastings, Minnesota. And today I want to talk a little bit about Valley's new X-Tech machine. So what is X-Tech? X-Tech is a different way to drive the machine, so to speak. Um, and it's very, very high speed. There's two models that Valley has. Val, uh, there's the X-Tech 136 or the X-Tech 343. Uh, the X-Tech 136 will make a complete lap in three and a half hours. The 343 will make a lap in uh, about half that, so 1.75 hours or so. Why do we want an X-Tech machine? Uh, probably the most important reason why customers buy the X-Tech is to apply crop protection chemicals. Um, fungicides is a is a good example. Uh, when a grower is growing potatoes, they actually have to fly on fungicide maybe once a week. And that gets very expensive with a helicopter. With the X-Tech 136 or 343, we can put fungicides on uh, right through the irrigator. The reason why we want the high speed is because when you're putting crop protection chemicals on, or at least certain ones, you need to apply a very, very minute amount of water with uh, the chemical. By running a high speed machine that can make a full lap in three and a half hours or less, uh, that allows you to do that and save on the cost of applying the chemicals on. So what's different about the X-Tech versus a conventional machine? Well, first of all, uh, the gearboxes, the wheel gearboxes are, believe it or not, exactly the same. Uh, these are the Valley 52 to one made in the USA gearboxes. On an X-Tech machine, we do wanna have tall tires. So here we're using the 11 two by 38 non-directional tires. These are standard valley. One of the components that is different is the center drive. We're using a inverter duty rated three horsepower motor that's capable of varying the speeds. A typical center drive for a conventional machine will be either uh, 34 RPM or 68 RPM. One of the things, in my opinion, that's very important to have on an X-Tech machine is the IWAB nozzles. Uh, I also firmly believe that they should be on drops. Why is that? Well, if we're applying chemicals with our irrigator, we want the nozzles to be as efficient as possible. Um, so putting nozzles on drops is a much more efficient way of applying water than having them on top of the pipe. The IWABs, in my opinion, are the only ones that should be used on the X-Tech because of the pattern that they put out. Uh, another popular nozzle on the market puts out water in these little fingers and because the machine moves so fast, we actually can see dry spots in the field. The IWAB puts out a water pattern that looks just like a raindrop and it completely covers the uh, surface of the soil and gives a nice even water application rate. Now let's go look at uh, a conventional tower box and we'll show you what that looks like and then we'll look at an X-Tech tower box. So here we are on top of uh, the X-Tech 143. The X-Tech 143 uses a combination of conventional tower boxes and the X-Tech boxes. A conventional tower box has a micro switch attached to this rod. And as the tower ahead of us moves, it clicks this micro switch right here and you hear a click, 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 click. And what that is doing is it's starting and stop, it's pulling in this contactor, which is starting and stopping the motor down below. With the X-Tech high-speed machines, 
we can't use that on every tower because as we get further out, the speed is so great that the machine or the tower would be start, stop, stop, stop way, way too fast. So we're gonna show you on the X-Tech tower box uh, how that operates, which is a more of a continuous move design. On the X-Tech 343, we can actually use a combination of conventional tower boxes such as this and the continuous move tower boxes. It just depends on the length of the machine and kind of how the math works out. Now let's go look at a X-Tech box. Here we are on top of the X-Tech tower. And the X-Tech tower box is, as you can see, quite a bit different than a conventional tower box. All it has is a safety micro switch and a proximity sensor. The proximity sensor is just sensing the angle of the control rod and it slows down or speeds up the variable frequency drive depending on if the tower is ahead or behind. Believe it or not, this system is not only very reliable because there's no micro switch to fail, but it allows us to set the alignment of the machine and it is unbelievably straight. Now let's take a look at uh, the variable frequency drive. So you can identify an X-Tech machine from the ground by looking for these blue boxes. The X-Techs are the only ones that have these, uh, these blue boxes at the towers. And inside of these boxes are a small little variable frequency drive. A variable frequency drive allows you to change the speed of an electric motor. So again, these towers are not starting and stopping like a conventional irrigator but they're using the proximity sensor in the X-Tech tower box to make the variable speed drive change its speed, depending on if it's ahead or behind. Now let's uh, fire up the uh, X-Tech and we'll see how it works in real time. Here we are at the last tower of the X-Tech 136. We're going to uh, turn it on and see how it runs. So the first thing we do is we go into Valley 365 and we select what direction we want to run. And uh, forward on an irrigator is clockwise. So we're going to run forward. We're going to turn the water off by clicking that button. We're going to push play to make it run. And then we're going to send the command and click send. Now in a second or two, the irrigator will click in we see the light on and now even though we have the machine set at 100% the X-Tech doesn't take off at full speed right away. It's running at 25% for about 90 seconds or so and after that 90 seconds elapses the computer in the X-Tech box senses what we have the percentage timer at the last tower set and the machine will start taking off. So let's give it the 90 seconds. So right now this is running at uh, about the speed of a conventional machine. It's running at 25% speed. 25% uh, of 136 is about 34 RPM, which is the speed of a standard speed Valley Center Drive. In a few seconds, we will see the machine click on, click into its high speed operation. We can also notice that the machine is staying incredibly straight. Here we go up into the high speed mode. It slowly ramps up and now it's at its full 136 RPM. And as you can see, it's really cooking. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, we would have never seen an irrigator that moves across the field this fast. 
Look how incredibly straight the whole machine is running. Thanks for watching our video on the XTech 136. I hope it was informative. Hey, if you're in Iowa, Western Wisconsin, or Southern Minnesota, and you need irrigation parts or service, uh, we'd be happy to help you out. Not only do we work on valleys, but we'll work on all brands of systems, and we'll be happy to work on yours. Make sure you like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.